Hey guys, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. Last time, we started on the Empress, started making our way through, had nearly ran out of food, nearly lost a bit of gold, but we're doing good. We've got 14 fame out of 20 to get the, to start wielding the, uh, what was it called? Reefers? Reefers Ire? So we're all good. Now we're just going to finish the first part of the dungeon. The next King's Road. Ah, yes. Following the Talus Elder's instructions, you find yourself on the road to Brendan. Let's get to the town. Just falls as you continue on your quest. Alright. Village Burns. Oh, we got traffic head is not without consequences. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, these guys on my side? As the village burns, three brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the survivors. One calls out, Please help me! Help! We must stop these savages before all is lost! Enjoy your weapon. Rush to their aid. Come on, Mal. Winter Spain in hand. We'll take these motherfuckers down. <coughs> Holy shit. Just gotta watch out for the trappers and stuff. Last time we got fucking trapped straight away. Alright, let's do this. I need that shit. I need that. Oh, good lord, that's a lot. Oh, good lord. Get this. Come on. Oh, nearly got me. Oh, I got the block again. Yeah, oh no. Whoa! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh god. Come on, come on! There we go. Woo! There we go. And back this way, and. Blammo. Oh! Boom! Nice. Farmers, don't you die. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. Oh god. That was close. Yes. Boom, it's over. Phew. Well, two farmers to survive. That's better than none, I guess. But if we didn't get caught in that trap, we would have had. Man, just gotta remember to use the special every time. It's a fucking beast. Oh, beautiful. And we got some more fame. Nice. The surviving villagers rushed to the farmer's aid and tend their wounds. Thank you, hero! They cry. You've saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. Please accept this small token of our gratitude. Same depends, we gain four fame. Food. More food. Nice. We won't be going hungry anytime soon. It is not it is not time to celebrate. They are surely mustering to raid the town of Tarin. They point further south down the riverbank. If ye are a true hero, you surely save them. Another village lost to the northerners. You set out to the next town without delay. Good lord, these towns useless. Just a few raid raiders. Come on, set up some traps. All right, well we've got nowhere else to go, so we're gonna go here. Your memory ah, is filled with conflict and chaos. Yet occasionally something merely pleasant slips through. Oh really? Tarts, pies, and exotic lies. You chance upon the wooden cart again. Uh, Malachi shakes his head once again. Poor Chester. Poor old Chester. This is why you should never. Be seduced by wiles of women. Anyway, we've heard that all before. Let's, uh. What do we want to buy? Some exotic fruit. Hmm, tasty. Or a pie. I do like a good pie. Tarts are good as well. Let's get a pie. Something filling. No, we don't need. Pass you a garlic and cheese pie from his. Where's the meat, man? Come on. I mean, garlic and cheese does sound good, but still. As always, the pies have been selling steadily today. Chester considers his coin chest for a while. Before he finally decides on our price. Alright, oh god, we need a 10 gold one. I reckon it's this one. 10 gold, please. Oh my god! I just got ripped off. Are you happy with. No! Decline! Just seems strangely affronted at this. He takes the pie from your hands and coldly asks you to leave. Fuck you, Chester. 30 gold for a pie? Get out! What oh, a son of a bitch. We've got loads of food anyway, so it doesn't really matter. General store! Aha! Do we need healing? Can sell some equipment. Can we sell anything? <laughs> can sell that straight off the bat. Yeah. Eight gold, is it really worth it? I've got 40 gold. Nah. Let's buy some equipment. I need a shield. Here we go, let's buy this one. Book, book, uh, eat less. Hmm, interesting. Ruby ring, blessed life. Well, we can afford both, I think. No, we cannot. Maybe. I want the shield though, we need a shield. Eat less. Every third step does not consume food. Ah, that sounds great to me. 
I have little trust in artifacts that breathe myself. Oh, maybe we will sell that sword actually. Let's sell that sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sell the sword. Cool. And now we can buy the ring as well. Gain plus 10 max life while you have more blessings than curses. And the rings can be equipped at one time. Any number. So even if I got more than 10. I mean, Jesus. Valuable for purely financial reasons, if nothing else. Alright. Let's get out of here. That was good. Got a sh new shield and a ring. Alright, I want to get down here and see what this is first. Got plenty of food. In your life, you will have wandered endless intersections. Another general this store. One sticks oh with you. Why? Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? I don't know, dealer. You tell me. You're either at a side post dealer to the possible path north and south. Malachi sniffs the air. Ah, a magical sensor pulling me towards the north. It smells like someone is baking cinnamon pie somewhere up ahead. Fantastic. Well. So Fork and Road shows me some places. Good. I need to remember that's a good one to have. What? Oh, okay. I thought I was, I've lost my shield then, but we didn't. Another shopkeep. Got two. Is it the same two? It's the same two. We didn't. I don't need this. this is, well, we got no money anyway, so... I'll buy some food. I can buy one food. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Not even worth it. Not with the Aegis, anyway. Alright. Off we go. Back to the King's Road. Continue to the next village. Dusk falls as your quest continues. All right. Actions, of course, have consequences. You I'm cannot say again. So we're in Taran. This taken will bring a simple peace. No. Oh shit. That was, uh... All right. Same again. Draw a weapon and rush to their aid. Let's do this. We've got the Aegis this time as well. Nice. Winter's Bane and the Aegis. I can't remember what the first part of the Aegis was called. Let's see if we can read it off here. Probably not. Oh yeah, we can. <laughs> the Valiant Aegis. Right in front of my face. Come on, you sons of bitches. Oh shit. Yeah, look at that. Boom. It's pretty pretty small, but it's better than what we had before. You ready, Mordecai? We got this. Strange mystery. The whims which keep some ancient relics in our hands while others are but dust. Alright, you son of a bitch. Got him! Got him! Got him! Whoa! Boom! Boom! Down! One down! Get the trap! One trap it down! Whoa! Get this trap it down! Come on, you son of a bitch! What the hell? Just hit me! Boom! Oh shit, 10 life. Oh fuck. This is this last one? Trapper. Get out of here, Trapper. Oh shit, didn't press the right click in that time. I mean, that was better, but we still lost a Took too many hits. Well, not too many, but we'll survive. But, uh, could have taken less. Could have taken less by ease. And we should have enough to get that fame now. Warrior's Axe. Uh, no thanks. And now we've got this. Now purpose. the power is yours to use. Heavy weapon. Like, I don't, I don't really want to use this to be honest with you. Like, let's have a look. Is that gonna? Yeah, we save them. We got the hit. There's the fame. We got some food. Lots of food. Holy shit, we are never running out of food. It appears oh. you are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. The raiders nice. will hide from you no longer. They're hiding from me? You turn here. Reefer's ire over in your hands. The rune on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if it, is, it now weighs less or you've found a new. You have a newfound strength, but either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. Okay. Alakos looks in awe. Wow! That would earn a pretty penny at the market, but. Uh, first, let's use it to break the barrier to the Northern Raiders camp. Slay the shaman and stop the raids once and for all. The Sanctum. Holy sh- Oh, is this the, is this the place? Oh, it's that? Oh, shit. Oh, would we just keep going until we got fame, I guess. 
Remember the Elder Tower's choice, you set out towards the sanctum of the shaman. Locate to defeat the shaman. Alright, we got this. We got this. I am no, it's a change. Between my loathing for gnomes and my despair that the world is becoming less strange and arcane as the Empire spreads. Mm. Halt, vile humans! A voice calls out that a dozen small creatures leap from the trees around you. Holy shit. It takes a moment to realize they're gnomes. Dirty, poorly armed gnomes. A few hold spears, but most have only a rock or sharpened stick. We seek arms to defend ourselves, a gnome declares loudly. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. We can even pay you something. I'll give you food, some food for a helmet, <coughs> one of the small folk exclaims. No, give me some armor and I'll give you a health potion, chimes another. The gnomes all loudly shout their offers, trying to out, trying to drown each other out. I ain't giving them shit. It's my stuff. I want the winter's because that's a good sword. <coughs> you refuse and the gnomes attack. A collection of sharp sticks and rocks fly in your direction. Ow! Ow! I thought I was gonna fight them, not get just hit. Didn't even get a chance to deal with, like to uh, pick success or not. Those quickly retreat into the trees, peering at you from the shadows until you leave. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Unbelievable. You'll notice that my carriage does not <sighs> stop for every distressed traveler <clears throat> along the way. Mm. Once again. Alright, come on, dice. Come on, dice. Six. Oh, well, that is poor. Re rolling them all this time. I'm not making the same mistake. We need three fives. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. Bring it on. Alright, let's test out this hammer as well. Uh. Oh, shit. What is this? Anarchist of greed and a silencer of greed. Shit. This is gonna be insane. Let's see what this hammer's saying. I'm hoping it's one handed. I, want, I like. I want to keep my shield. <coughs> silencer of greed. I wonder what they do. We're about to find out, I think. Is that the one on the left? Which one on the oh, yeah, it's this one. These guys here. What are you saying? So that's a cut your throat or cut your purse. It makes no note mind to them. Holy shit. Alright, it's a two-handed weapon. Whoa! Yes, I know Malachi's alright, you son of a bitch. Oh, good lord. Alright. Boom! Holy shit, look at the flip on that. Blammo. Oh, good lord, we nearly got hit. Boom! Oh shit! That has crushed his skull. Man, that flip was amazing. We didn't even take a hit! Ah, oh, so good. That was a good that was a good fight. Damsel in distress, god damn it. With the folks defeated you, so it's the bodies. Ah, oh, sweet, let's get some stuff. Come on, we need nine. Nine or more. Whoa, then we're flying. Eight. Come on. <coughs> just gotta just gotta get the uh just gotta get more than two. Four it is! Nice, there we go. Give me your stuff, you sons of bitches. We've got some more fame. Damn. Food, that'll do. More food? I mean, we don't need this much food, but okay. Uh, Alright, so we could just go straight to the sanctum. We might as well check out what's going off up here. Malachi's is problem. You arrive at the city markets to meet Malachi, says associate. Oh shit, we're at the fucking graveyard again, aren't we? God damn it. You find him sitting on a blanket by the super. Oh wait, this is the goblin dude. Oh shit, what did we pick last time? Oh uh, yeah, we could pay ten gold. Well, I don't I don't have ten gold. Fuck! The goblin man looks affront and Malachi's places a consoling hand on him. Don't be mad. He doesn't know about our kind of work. The muck crosses his arms and turns his back to you. Malachi soothing makes soothing noises. Look here, Muck. We'll be back before you know it with the gold, okay? Damn it! Damn gold! They all made him. That's for gold. Yeah, we don't really need anything else, do we? Let's take the gold. Oh shit! Nice. Can we go back onto this one now? Yeah, here we go! Alright. Give him the gold. Who's paying this guy's fucking bills? Unbelievable. 
Mock me a bean! The bard looks fut futilely around before quickly waving, waving at his sh shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. We've considered no cost for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. You splutter indignantly. I retire, require a test of skill from him. I forgot it was the goblin talking. Oh god, what did we eat last time? I think we, we ate the purple flower, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright. Eat, eat a forget me not. Here we go. Oh, was we just meant to pass it? I can't remember now. Shit, 12. Oh my god. 10. Let's go. We roll 2. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. Nice. Alright. Oh shit, we got Dice Master. Nice. You feel a little starry eyed. Quick! What day is it? Malachi and Merc wait urgently for your answer. Uh What day is it? Okay, the fourth of the sec the fourth of second winter. Preposterous! Malachi six claims throwing his arms up in defeat. McTuts and returns to his floralism. Seems you have failed whatever test that was. Oh uh, what? Are you kidding me? Can we go back? No, we can't. That's it. What the hell? I don't know what day it was. Jesus. You Unbelievable. have prepared yourself for this battle. Wow. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. Tis as Talus Elder said, Malachi's remarks. The Shaman's Sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Let's try the hammer. All right, let's do it. You raise. Reefers are uh, uh, above your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. The hammer finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling wings spin you this and th this way and that, then vanish as quickly as it has appeared. Holy shit. Disoriented, you look around for Malachi, but he is nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and re realize you are standing in a forest clearing, covered in newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something turning. You see a towering northern clansman, bold and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. The Wanderer, huh? He does not flinch, nor seems even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Shaman of the Frost! Alright. And you see her, sitting on a throne of wicked fawns, small straw plate, plated charms and oddities hanging from the trees behind her before her kneel countless raiders worshipping their leader in an eerie ear stillness eerie stillness the defender of villages and the exiled one the shaman says with a hiss she steps down from a coat I know why you have come let's end this let this end as a verse. Well, I'm just clearly not reading, obviously. I hope you know how to fight, hero. Says the bold. Oh, shit, I thought that was still the bloody shaman. Hope you know how to fight, hero. Says the bold normal economy. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off his head. You ready your weapon as a shaman and her clansmen surround you. You know what? Can we, can we swap out? Yeah, let's get this. For the furthest of the ages. We've broken the barrier. You ready, weapon? The shaman and cleanser. Let's do this. So we didn't need the hammer to, like, chop off a head or something. I mean, it's a hammer. You don't need to smash its head in. <coughs> we got this, though. Shaman of the Frost. Oh, shit. She looks brutal. Raid leaders are the front line of the Northern Assault, centers of tactical and religious guidance. The Shaman casts her spells and heals her allies. Oh, that heal her allies. Attack her quickly to interrupt the spell. Right, I'm gonna go straight for her, okay? Oh shit. Oh god. No, 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 no. Come on. Well, I don't know what we're doing. Good lord. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom! Gotta get this bitch down. Holy fuck. Oh, good lord. 
No, that was a dodge. Oh god. Oh god, we're getting hits. Jesus. Why is he in trouble? Get up, you son of a bitch. Oh, good lord. No, no. Oh, god. We're gonna die. Jesus, can't dodge. Come on. Gotta kill that bitch. We got it. Good lord. One more. Finish her off. Oh, damn. Straight to the skull. Oh man, did I finish it off? Didn't even need to kill you guys. Boom. Boom. Nice. We did it! Jesus, nearly lost half our health there. The shaman's body rifes as a dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. As the sky clears, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that fought along your side. I am Corbion, he explains. I was born into the northern clans, but I am clanless now. You do not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition they have lost. I befriended Cobleon, the Wanderer. Nice. You and I have cleared a small part of the stain from my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. He reaches out a massive hand and glaps your forearm. Let us head back and find your friend. And with that, you and Cobleon make your way back through the forest in search of Malachis. Another card returns to my deck. Do not yeah. worry, I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. Nice. Cue the music. Here we go. Let's get these coins open. Well done. Another but defeating the shaman. Falls before you, and a new companion joins no. your journey. Armor of gluttony. Ring of food. Pious robes. Frontier barbant. Barbant. Nice. Helmet this time. <clears throat> Building up our deck. Fame and shame. Oh my god, is that. Has he got a thing in his nose? Jesus. Watchtower. Raiders ambush. Bridge skirmish. Proving yourself a worthy hero. Reef is ire. Nice. For befriending Corbia. Oh yeah. Clan Eyebright. Nice. The Wanderer. What we got here? What was this for? Open it up. Boom! For defending all of the villagers. Elder's Gift. Reveal. Nice. Oh shit, we've got more coins. We're bashing out the coins today. For accepting the thief Merrick's offer. Pickpocket. Interesting. And last but not least, I think this is the last one. For clearing out the Rusty Razor. Friendly Innkeeper. Oh, that'll come in handy. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at those cards go. That's the Empress down. Nice. So we did that one. Next we could probably go for the Emperor, I reckon, or the High Priestess. We'll have to make a decision. But we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I would love to know what you think. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe. I would love to have you join us. Until next time, guys. See ya!